Hello everyone, welcome to my African Village TV, your guide to the hidden treasures of Africa. Now you're probably wondering why everybody is suddenly talking about Abba, Abia State, the Enyimba City. What's going on there? Well, in recent times, Abba has been undergoing massive positive changes under the leadership of Governor Alex Oti. Abba has historically been known as a major manufacturing trade center in Nigeria. However, the city has suffered from a lack of infrastructure development and investment. Poorly maintained roads, riddled with potholes, costs, accidents, and traffic congestion. Power outages were a constant frustration for residents and businesses. Air pollution from unregulated vehicle emissions and refuse dumping created health hazards. Rampant crime and insecurity also plagued the city. When Mr. Alex Joma Oti was elected as the new governor of Abia State in 2023 under the Labour Party, he promised to transform Abba into a modern and vibrant city. There was hope that his administration would bring drastic improvements to infrastructure, security, sanitation and more. Now, just seven months into his tenure, Let's look at the progress Mr. Oti has made in uplifting Abba and Abia State in general. Just so you know, and this is my highlight because Abba Mwaba. The Abba Independent Power Plant, AIPP, is a natural gas-fired power plant with a capacity of 141 megawatts, enough to provide electricity to over 200,000 homes and businesses in the in Yimba City and after its commissioning scheduled for February 26th, just in a few hours to go, the AIPP's capacity will increase to 188 megawatts, more than enough to meet the demand of the Abaring fenced area. This means that the AIPB will have a huge impact on Abba's economic development and that of its environs, meaning that Abba is going to be the first city in Nigeria to first experience 24-7 electricity and Akokwakeba supply. And guess what? And this is going to have a ripple effect on the national economy as well. Abba is known for its vibrant and diverse industries like textiles, leather, plastics, metal, and electronics. It is also home to many small and medium enterprises that produce goods and services for local and regional markets and even internationally. However, these industries have been hampered by unreliable and unaffordable electricity increasing costs and reducing productivity. So you see, Abba is going to be the first city in Nigeria to experience 24-hour electricity supply. That's my highlight on this vlog. Let's look at his work on the roads and transportation. One of Mr. Oti's priorities upon taking office was to repair Abba's severely dilapidated roads and improve transportation infrastructure. Working swiftly, his administration has already resurfaced over 50 kilometers of major roads and completely reconstructed several critical routes within the city. Streets that were once barely navigable are now smooth and pothole-free. Traffic flow has improved considerably as a result. Significant road construction is still ongoing as we speak and will soon be live to cover this for you guys. The governor has commissioned construction companies to widen and rebuild many highways connecting Abba to other parts of Abia State. When completed, these projects will boost our trade and mobility. There are also plans to build a bus rapid transit system with designated lanes and modern bus stations to improve public transportation. 
This initiative promises to reduce traffic congestion and provide affordable, efficient mobility around the city of Inimba. Let's talk about railways. Step by step, no turning around, no going back. So step by step. Another exciting development is the proposed Aba Urban Rail System, which will connect key areas within the city via commuter trains. This massive undertaking demonstrates the governor's far-sighted vision for the future as ABBA continues to expand. The first phase of the urban rail system will see nearly 30 kilometers of track laid with a dozen stations planned. Commuters will benefit immensely from the convenience and speed of trains versus being stuck in traffic jams. The rail network will also facilitate economic growth and investments along its routes. Guys, if you see a good leader, appreciate him. This is what we are doing in my African Village TV. And this man here, His Excellency Governor Alex Chioma Oti, is indeed a Chioma to the Abians. Do we even talk about the market and commercial infrastructure? ABBA is renowned for its bustling markets brimming with locally made goods. To elevate trade and commerce, the state government has commenced projects to enhance infrastructure at major markets. Plans are in place to upgrade the aging Ahiohoro market with modern stores, durable concrete floors, proper roofing, ventilation, water and electricity. Nearby roads will also be improved to ease congestion and as we speak, the construction is already happening. Similar renovations are scheduled for other large markets like the famous Ariaria International Market is also slated for expansion to alleviate congestion and accommodate business growth. Included are parking, security and shops, crime prevention and law enforcement. To tackle high crime rates, Governor Oti has recruited more police officers, provided new vehicles and tech to boost enforcement capabilities. Residents of Enimba City are now feeling much more safer. And to manage the waste management, you know that ABBA sometime had backed the nickname Abaditi. And so to make ABBA cleaner and more livable, the governor has revived garbage collection with new trucks and workers as we speak. Households and businesses get beans for routine pickup. Littering and illegal dumping now brings penalties. Hello? So, for sustainability, waste to energy plants to convert trash to electricity are planned. Reducing waste through education is promoted. Better waste disposal has visibly reduced street and drainage littering in Enimba City. Due to inadequate plumbing infrastructure, sewage spills and flooding were common in Aba. To address this, the state is renovating sewage and drainage networks. Engineers are surveying and mapping pipelines for repairs and upgrades. Where needed, old pipes are being replaced and treatment plant capacities expanded. Modern rainwater harvesting systems are incorporated along drainage channels. Abia is God's own state, Unanugo. Remember that? So, there is still much to do for ABBA, the Inimba city, to truly transform it into the modern, world-class city envisioned. But the wide-ranging foundations laid demonstrate Mr. Oti's reform commitment. With more projects underway, there is hope ABBA will regenerate into the prosperous hub it once was. I'm excited to see the city continue flourishing under this progressive leadership. The best is yet to come for the Appians. Please like, share and subscribe for more insightful videos. I am Splendor, signing out.